Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Let's get straight into this game, shall we? First of all, I need to heal. Okay. wasn't my intention, but okay. Well then. Hmm. I can do it. 
Nice. So unfortunately, I lost about 10 minutes of video just now, um, but we're a little bit further in the temple now. We've done four out of five of the locks, so that's where we're leaving off. That's where we have to leave off because my thing didn't record as usual. I swear I have so many problems with recording. Come on, you know how.
you get up there? Here I go! I can do it! <laughs> Here I go! How do we get him up there? those red rocks and rescue Zelda. Alright, let's go, you know, both. into you know go.
I need more health.
missed. He's like, what is this? Many years ago, in the kingdom of 
Hyrule's earliest days. Oh, Gendorf. A great evil, the Demon King, sought to conquer the kingdom and kill everyone who resisted his rule. Sounds like Ganondorf. Wrong. The first king of Hyrule rose up to oppose him, along with me and five other warriors. And to fight the Demon King, Wrong trusted us with secret stones. Secret stones. Incredible artifacts that amplified our powers. I stood beside my fellow sages as a sage of fire, stronger than ever with my secret stone. However, we were no match for the Demon King. Hmm. Even my strongest blows weren't enough to break him. Yep. Raul understood that we couldn't overcome the Demon King. In one last brave act, our leader sacrificed himself to imprison that monster. Woohoo! Go Raru. That was the imprisoning war. The imprisoning war. And then some time later, the Sage of Time, one of the six sages, came to me. Her visit would set the Goron's duty in stone. Zelda! The magic restraining the Demon King will be undone. He will return. When that time comes, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. Yes, I will. But Link will need help. Lend him your power. Your fire. The Goron's mastery of fire. Hmm. In that moment, the duty of the Goron people was clear. Yes. I'd like nothing more than to smash the demon king. <laughs> I swear. The Sage of Fire will awaken again. Woo! The Goron Sage and the Goron Lady will fight alongside your swordsmen. Yeah! And that's what you need to know about the imprisoning war and of our people's duty. You saved Goron City, but the Demon King is still out there. Hmm. You know, little rock. Take out my secret stone and honor the pledge I made to the Sage of Time long ago. Fight alongside the swords. Woo! Another sage. Another sage quest complete. So, so it's, it's my, my duty. duty. To help you fight? Hmm. And he wants me to inherit this? Really? Oh. I don't know if I'm nearly as great as my ancestor was. But then, if I don't help out, I'd be letting everyone else down. There's no way I'll let that happen. I can do this. Yeah. I am the Sage of Fire. I've got an awesome new power, Goro. Take this! 
It's proof I stand with you. Three out of four. With that ring, you'll be able to call on my power anytime, Goro. I promise, I'll be strong enough to fight beside you, no matter what happens. Okay, let's head back. <laughs> Yes, let's. Let's get rid of rock roast. <laughs> that was fun. Get rid of that marbled rock roast. <laughs> <laughs> I can hardly believe you making me worry like that. Ayata, please don't be mad at President Yunobo. It's okay, Slurgo. I'm the one who made such a mess of things, after all. If I had just been more careful. You said you'd put Goron City back to normal, and you did. You're the hero of Goron City. You were, you were when you made Yunobo Co, and you still are now. I... Hi. Thank you, Goro. Oh. And we have to thank you too, Link. You got rid of the marbled rock roast and smiles are coming back to Goron City. I keep imagining what might have happened if you hadn't broken that mask. Oh. Ugh, no, I can't even think about it. Ooh. Princess Zelda wasn't angry we ruined the mask, was she? Oh. Actually, we weren't able to catch up with her. It was all so strange. Now that I think about it, it seemed like she was walking toward the giant monster by choice. After that, we didn't see her again. Aww. President Inobo, do you think that maybe Princess Zelda is one of the bad guys? Uh -huh. What do you mean? Ah. Like, maybe the giant monster was pretending to be Princess Zelda? Uh -huh. No way! Uh -huh. Hang on, come to think of it, the person my ancestor referred to as the Sage of Time, she said she wanted to help the Swordsman Link. Now that I think about it, that was definitely Princess Zelda. Mm -hmm. I don't know why or how she was there in the past. But whatever the case is, that means the Princess Zelda we saw was an imposter. And that imposter is making a bad name for our Princess Zelda. That's no good. Yeah. We've got to find him and pummel him, Goro. I'll ask my guys at Yunobo Code to search around the area around the area around the city for any leads on the princess. Yeah. Even if you're not here with me, we will still be connected, Link. Ooh. You can count on me. Vow of Yunobo, Sage of Fire. The enthusiasm's great and all, but let's not go digging up any more weird rocks. You got that, President Yunobo? <laughs> oh, he looks so embarrassed. That's cute. He's like, ah ha ha, whoops. Yunobo of Goron City complete. Alright. <laughs> Uh, they'll never get to Grandia like this. Did you find Grandia? Oh, hey, it's you! Uh, Grandia? Grandia who? Never heard of him. Never heard that Grandia is a place where Gorons used to live. Definitely never heard that, and not looking for it either. No way would I be looking for a place that has weird vehicles and exciting treasures. 
I most certainly didn't find minecart tracks that probably lead to the legendary place I know nothing about. And the tracks definitely don't have something wrong with them that's keeping me from looking for the place. Nope. Please don't sneak up on me. For a second I thought my big secret was out. I- I'm gonna check out the minecart tracks. Don't follow me. a shrine of the top of Death Mountain, so I want to go back there. Yay! You know Bodevau has granted you the power to summon his avatar. Alright. find that shrine that was at Death Mountain. anything. Yeah, let's get to that shrine. I'm up there. be at this shrine. Surely 
really nothing too difficult. How many lights of blessing do I have? Two. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hearts. Woo! That's pretty good. Almost there. is up there. I think we can make that. Maybe not. <clears throat> Almost there. I could not imagine trekking such a cliff. Go. 
let's see what challenge we have here for us. What have we got in store? A controlling device. didn't work. 
to make it. <laughs> well, I have no idea how to do this shrine. We put one of these control things on here. And then attach it. go. Light of Blessing down. Three out of four. Now I know exactly where we're going next. <laughs> Whoa, there's water now. Oh, wait, what am I doing? The shrine's up here. <laughs> Okay, that's good. That's a lot. Oh, it's still open. Is it because I completed it already?
these items. I know what we need to do next. We need to go to Rito Village so that we can get more stamina. Stamina vessel number three. <laughs> village we go. It'll be so nice to have an extra part of stamina. we go. I suppose we could 
explore over here. I haven't really done that. Dun dun dun. Oh, it's raining. It's raining hard. Now I've got three of the sages with me. Yay! That's so exciting. Will there be enemies on this path? No! Huh. Butterfly. Thunderwing butterfly. Alright. What's up here? Anything? What's this? A geyser? Addison! Addison, my friend. Oh, mushroom. What in the world are you doing up here, man? Your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I am hungry. <sighs> Thank you. Ah. All right. Now to that shrine. I don't think I've been there before. And the shrine. Mercury shrine. Have I already been here? I don't know. Let's see. Nope. 
we haven't. All right, let's see what this one has in store for us. I'm sure it'll involve Ultra Hand, which is not my specialty. Alright, let's see. Combat Training Archery. Okay, this shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Steady your aim and fire at the enemy's head. Okay. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. Okay. Well done. Thank you. Do not fear the approaching enemies. Fire true and strike their heads. Okay. your master you now proceed to the innermost chamber yeah and I got a bunch of weapons arrows 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 it'd be funny if it's like psych you're not done yet please return to the previous room Another shrine done. I like combat shrines. They're chill. One light of blessing. One out of four. I've got so many arrows now. And I have a bunch of Zonai swords. Okay. Whoa, is this stable? Tabentha Bridge Stable. Yeah. Hello and welcome to Tabentha oh. Bridge Stable. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. Since this is your first time here, we'll add one pony one point to your pony points. Now then, once again, oh. welcome Link. Do you want to register a horse or take one out for a ride? How can I help? Goodbye! The massive cold snap is over and things have finally settled down around here. But there's no shortage of strange happenings these days. Please take care on your travels. Our employee Banji really knows the area, so don't be shy about asking her for help. Okay. Pen! I do. A small story. Hmm. Hardly a trace of a recipe remains. Just the remnants of a half-eaten of half-eaten Hylian pine cones. Hey, partner, you're looking good. Were you also pulled to this place by the inescapable tug of a story? I'm chasing some new chirps and warbles from my beloved little birds. 
A group of goats is a herd, or a trip, or a tribe. Anyway, this stable has been raising a small herd of white goats. Or it was until those white goats up and vanished all of a sudden. Mm. That's not where it stops, though. Some said Princess Zelda may also be involved. Anyway, why don't you talk with Chork, the guy who is taking care of the white goats? I'll look for oh. more clues. Partner, time for you to get to work. There's a big scoop here. I can feel it. Chork, is that you? Mm. Hey, buddy. Have you seen some white goats around here? I've given those goats all the love and care in the world, but the other day they ran off together. Uh. They didn't even finish all their food before they left. The Hylian pine cones weren't eaten. I followed Princess Zelda's recipe per perfectly, but could it have been the feed that drove them off? Recipe? Oh. Yeah, Princess Zelda shared a recipe when she visited the stable a while back. It's really amazing how much she knows about animals. I never would have expected her to be developing healthy feed recipes. In this case, it's a recipe for a speci special type of feed, kind of feed for white goats. The main ingredients is fresh Hylian pine cones. <laughs> it's actually pretty unusual. It requires you to mix the pine cones in whole. You don't grind them down or anything. I didn't want my white, wonderful white goat to eat the recipe the princess gave me, so I put it in a glass bottle. Oh. But a big storm came through one day and blew the bottle off somewhere. I wasn't able to find it after that, so I've been making the recipe from memory since then. Uh. But what would make my white goat spit up the Hylian cones and run off like that? Did they did they really hate Princess Zelda's recipe that much? So you're telling me I gotta find the bottle? I'm assuming this path leads somewhere. Okay, maybe it doesn't, but it's worth a look. bottle. Whoa, those are my white goats. So this is where they ran off to. Yes! So it just took following the pine cone. There, there. I'm so just so glad to see you. Are you all okay? And you're the one who found them? Thank you. I won't forget this. This bottle. This is what I was using to keep Princess Zelda's recipe safe. Let me see it. I need to check the recipe. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Wait! Oh, no! Grind the pine cones into a powder. I'm not supposed to use the Hylian pine cone hole. I should have known something was off. It did look really hard to eat. My poor sweet goats. They must have run away because of the awful food I was making them eat. I'm so sorry. I hurt you all when I thought I was helping. It was my fault all along. I would have ran away too. I can't believe I doubted the recipe that Princess Zelda shared with me. I should have noticed my mistake right away. After all, I really do want to take the best possible care of the goats. But it's not just about the kind of food you feed them, right? It's important to show them that you care with all your heart. Mm. I swear that from now on, I will take care of you all with the same kindness and compassion that Princess Zelda displays. That's the best way to show my gratitude for her sharing the recipe with me. Then bye. It's funny. Oh, and I really, really can't thank you enough for helping, for finding my white goats. And for the recipe. We're going to head back to the stable. You take care. Hey, partner. Oh. I saw everything, partner. Oh. A perfect investigation with a happy ending. I'd expect nothing less from you. Hmm, do you think it's a coincidence that the missing white goats and the lost recipe were in the same place? I have another theory. <laughs> Maybe the white goats set out to find the bottle themselves because they couldn't stand to eat the wrong recipe anymore. I don't think that's the case, but it does make you wonder, doesn't it? Mm. You know, we've chased five of the leads that might have something to do 
with Princess Zelda. Ah. Your investigations are the talk of the office at the Lucky Clover Gazette. You've really shown some promise. <laughs> and it turns out the paper is doing well thanks to the articles we keep putting together. Which is why Tracy told me we're both getting raises. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. A hundred rupees? Wow. Alright, I'm going to hurry back to HQ and bring word of this story's conclusion to our readers. See you later, partner. I look forward to chasing another big scoop with you. So long! White goat's gone missing. Missing. Complete. Alright. Where am I? Okay. <laughs> Well, that was easy. <laughs> Let's find the Skyview Tower over here. Where are we? At a stable. Hey, Hylian flowers. These flowers, whatever they're called, island herbs? Hylian herbs, yes. Hylian tomato? I mean, I don't like tomatoes, but I'm not the one eating them, so. Razor shroom. So many mushrooms. So many types of mushrooms. <laughs> What's down there? Crossing this bridge. <laughs> right. Oh no, it's raining. <laughs> check something well really quick one second let me consult my map all right let me see all right all right that's we're good now anyways this way I need to go this way. I guess I'll drop down. There's no way I can climb in this rain. down here anyway. Climbing out of here is going to be a hassle. Oh, darn. 
mushroom. Another Hylian mushroom. And the green one. Oh, there's one here too. Silent shroom. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, not my intention. All right. I guess we might as well keep going this way. Surely eventually we'll be able to climb up. Hmm. Raspberries. Oh, wild berries. Stop raining. Ooh, shrine. Let's head to that shrine. Man, it rains a lot here. It just stopped raining and now it's raining again. Gasses shine. Gasses shine? Gasses shine? Alright, let's go in. This one will be about. Well timed cuts. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Sun. Huh. Okay. Interesting. An arrow, okay. Let's combine these two. Alright. Okay, I guess I'm not getting that. for a key. How am I going to find a key? I thought for sure it would be in that box.
Maybe on up there. <laughs> no. Where are we gonna find a key? Hmm. Interesting. We'll do this next time. We'll try this shrine out again next time. What's it called? Gasus Shrine? Gasus Shrine? Gasus Shrine. Alright, well, this seems like a good place to stop things off. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We finished the fire temple today, which was exciting. That boss was easier than I expected it to be. I forget the, I forget the name of the boss, but first try that we beat it. That's pretty good, I would say, um, for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. We did some exploring. We did another stable quest. We did, did a couple shrines, got another light of blessing, got some lights of blessing, got another stamina vessel. Yeah, what more can you ask for, right? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye!